The great way is not difficult for those not attached to preferences. When neither love nor hate arises, all is clear and undisguised. Separate by the smallest amount, however, and you are as far from it as heaven is from earth. If you wish to know the truth, then hold to no opinions for or against anything. To set up what you like against what you dislike is the disease of the mind. When the fundamental nature of things is not recognised, the mind's essential peace is disturbed to no avail. The way is perfect, as vast space is perfect, where nothing is lacking and nothing is in excess. Indeed, it is due to our grasping and rejecting that we do not know the true nature of things. Live neither in the entanglements of outer things, nor in ideas or feelings of emptiness. Be serene and at one with things, and erroneous views will disappear by themselves. When you try to stop activity to achieve quietude, your very effort fills you with activity. As long as you remain attached to one extreme or another, you will never know oneness. Those who do not live in the single way cannot be free in either activity or quietude, in assertion or denial. Deny the reality of things and you miss their reality. Assert the emptiness of things and you miss their reality. The more you talk and think about it, the further you wander away from the truth. So cease attachment to talking and thinking and there is nothing you will not be able to know.